When will the price of Bitcoin hit $100,000? That is the question we're answering in today's video. And we're taking a look at the price action over the next 12 to 18 months as we enter into the next bull cycle. But as always, before we dive into today's topic, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Give the video a thumbs up. It really helps to boost it with the algorithm. And be sure to turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with all of the latest cryptocurrency news and hit your crypto goals. So what are we talking about in today's video? Well, before we jump in, where are we headed? So the graph you're seeing in front of you right now on the screen is basically um, taken from ARK Invest's big ideas report from 2023. If you're not familiar already, ARK Invest is one of the uh, 11 institutions that just recently got the Bitcoin ETF approved. So they have been making a very big push to um, make Bitcoin a more institutional friendly asset. And their big ideas report that they create every year maps out where they think the current landscape of Bitcoin is and where it's headed. So this is just to set the frame for today's video, really thinking just about the price targets they've set for the year 2030. So what we're looking at here is um, a bear case, base case and bull case uh, price projection for the year 2030. And they've mapped that out in, in a bear case scenario. Their Bitcoin price target for the year 2030 is 258,000. Their base case is 682,000 and their bull case scenario for a Bitcoin price in 2030 is 1.48 million US dollars. This breakdown here is just showing all of the different use cases that Bitcoin can begin to infiltrate in order to get towards that kind of valuation. But it just makes it just makes us think about, you know, what what kind of prices will Bitcoin be hitting over the next six to seven years? And how can you think about positioning yourself um, strategically in order to benefit from that? So obviously, before we can hit anything above $1 million, we, we need to hit $100,000. And 100000 is a very realistic scenario for Bitcoin over the next 12 to 18 months. As we think about the... Um, the halving cycles and the four-year cycles that we tend to see uh, with this asset. And what we're highlighting here is the subsidy and block reward halving over time. So obviously we know that the Bitcoin halving occurs every four years and the block reward gets cut in half every four years. And this graph is just basically visualizing the block reward getting halved every four years so that the amount of Bitcoin coming into circulation every four years gets cut in half. Obviously, the supply over time begins to even out because there's less and less Bitcoin coming into circulation every four years. So right now, in the period of 2020 to 2024, we have 6.25 Bitcoin per block as the reward for miners. In April, May of this year, 2024, that reward will get cut to 3.125 Bitcoin per block. And in 2028, it will get cut further to 1.75, um, whatever, whatever half of 3.125 is. So all of this is to demonstrate the fact that every four years we have this supply shock event with the amount of circulating supply coming into the market. And what that means is we see some very interesting patterns every four years with regards to the cycles that happen in the market. Now, this particular graph obviously has a lot of detail in it, but it has a lot of interesting um, points that we're going to touch on in reference to how Bitcoin can get to 100K. So the first thing to note here is this is obviously a chart going all the way back to 2010. We've got all of the different halving event marked here with these dotted lines so this was the 2012 halving event here this is the the 2016 halving event here we had the 2020 halving event here and then the 2024 halving event due to happen here in this year that's the first thing to note the second thing is 
how Bitcoin behaves in the different phases of this four-year cycle is denoted here with the different colors on the chart, with these different square box colors. So we can see that in the first year of this typical four-year cycle, we've got this green box for the accumulation phase. The second year of the four-year cycle, we've got this blue box, which is kind of what we call the preparation phase. The red box is the real bull market where we have Bitcoin hitting new all-time highs. And then after that, we have obviously um, a drawdown for a bear market with this orange box. And you'll see that pattern and that cycle of green, blue, red, orange is repeated here throughout each four-year cycle as we see it in the, in, the, in the chart here. So Bitcoin has this behavior that it tends to exhibit in this four-year cycle where um, it is basically accumulating a large amount in the two years before the bull market then the year before we've got this kind of preparation and a little bit more accumulation but often seeing a little bit of a um, a drop in the price before we skyrocket with the new bull market and then having um, a drop off again with the bear market so where are we right now obviously um, we are at the middle of January 2024 as of the time of recording this video but what we see here is um, obviously we began to start the year 2024 right here now and we're gonna have the Bitcoin halving event in April May of this year so the amount of accumulation that has been going on has been pretty interesting over the past um, year throughout all of 2023 we can see this green box here where we've got this period of accumulation building before the year before the halving event and again we saw this back in um 2019 with this green box and all the accumulation that started to happen here small bit of a price correction then as we moved into this blue box before the bull market really taking off into the red so the current price as of today is about 41,000 US dollars for Bitcoin on January 18th, 2024. And with the halving event coming up and a lot of the um, other sentiment around Bitcoin with the ETF approvals lately um, means that what we're probably going to see is maybe a little bit of a correction as we come towards the halving event before we really take off into the bull cycle for 2025. Now, this particular graph has the price mapped at 138,000 for around November 28th, 2025. And this date is pretty interesting because we typically see that in the 12 to 18 months after each halving event, we see that all time high with the market price. So again, obviously, just making it as clear as we can that we have this 2020 2012 halving event and then the 12 to 18 months after that we had a we had a market peak again in 2016 we had the halving event and about 18 15 to 18 months after that we had the market peak again and the same thing happening with the 2020 halving in about november december of 2021 we had the bull market peak once again so this trend of having the bull market peak in that 12 to 18 month period post halving event is very much a reoccurring trend that we've seen with the past three cycles and obviously it's impossible to exactly predict the future but what we're doing here is mapping that out in order to estimate when we're going to hit that one hundred thousand dollar mark so as we move through 2024 um you know obviously that the price the previous all-time high price of bitcoin was sixty nine thousand dollars at the peak of the last bull market when do we get to sixty nine thousand again potentially we get there very close to the halving time and potentially we we hit a new all-time high very shortly after the halving and then you know judging by this graph and the price action that's been mapped here with these trend lines um it is estimating that we would hit the one hundred thousand dollar mark here we've, drew, we've drawn a line across here to hit this trend line somewhere around q1 of 
2025, if we bring the line up here, we would hit that $100,000 mark by around Q1 of 2025. Now, with a lot of the ETF hype and sentiment, and even, even though there has been a, pro a drop in the price of Bitcoin in the six to seven days after the ETF approvals, a huge amount of Bitcoin has been being bought by the institutions that have been approved. I think about just shy of 80,000 Bitcoin has been purchased by the various institutions who have been approved for the ETF. And if they were to keep purchasing the Bitcoin at that rate, it can only lead to the price going up because there's simply not enough Bitcoin in circulation to to keep up with that type of demand. So a lot of people think that we could even see a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin before the end of 2024. So if we're being realistic, the halving event happening in, in May of this year, giving it five or another five or six months after the halving event in May could potentially see us at a $100,000 Bitcoin before the end of 2024. So one other thing we're going to take a quick look at is the stock to flow model. And again, this map is showing us the stock to flow with this brown line um, in terms of uh, the amount of Bitcoin that is coming into circulation uh, from a stock to flow ratio. Uh, we talked about this in detail in some of our previous videos, but basically due to the fact that the amount of Bitcoin that comes into circulation every four years gets cut in half, that means that the stock to flow ratio continues to increase for Bitcoin. And when you compare it to something like gold, it's just below gold right now in terms of stock to flow ratio. But the higher the number, the better when it comes to stock to flow, because the longer it takes to replenish the supply of an asset, typically the more valuable it is. But obviously, as we continue and hit this 2024 halving here with the stock to flow model, mapping out the price of Bitcoin um, versus the stock to flow, according to this particular model, we would see Bitcoin hitting $100,000 potentially around the middle to end of September 2024 of this year. So again, obviously this is a model and it's not 100% accurate, but the price of Bitcoin um, denoted here with the different colors um, has <clears throat> pretty closely correlated to the stock to flow ratio over the time um, and over the course of its existence. So It'll be interesting to see if that plays out and how accurate this is and exactly when we will hit a $100,000 Bitcoin. But to keep it conservative and to make a prediction, I think it's very realistic to say that we would hit a $100,000 Bitcoin sometime in Q4 or of 2024 or Q1 of 2025 with an ultimate market peak probably somewhere around Q4 of 2025, about 18 months after the next the next halving event in May 2024. So interesting times to be thinking about the price of Bitcoin and when it will hit $100,000. If you've got any predictions yourself about where you think the price of Bitcoin is going, when do you think it's going to hit $100,000? Can it hit $100,000? Um, how soon can it happen or how far away is it? Drop us a comment below and let us know what you think. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please smash that thumbs up button. Please like the video. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more crypto content so that you can hit your crypto goals. We will catch you in the next one.